Hey, let us talk about mythology again. This time, let us go even further into our grim journey. And as always, before we are getting started, please like this video and subscribe, and if possible, share this video as well. Now, with that being said, let's get right into it. Beginning with Guillotine. Guillotine holds a coined place in Bithonian folklore. It's a grim and inevitable personification of death. Her depiction of parallels that of a grim reaper, featuring a skeletal figure, clad in a cloak and wielding a scythe. This iconography underscores her role as the harbinger, who reaps the souls of the dying, guiding them from the mortal world to the afterlife. Traditionally, Guilty wasn't always seen as a fearsome or malevolent figure. Initially, image was more nurturing, associated with a natural and necessary transition, rather than a figure to be feared. But over time, and possibly under the influence of foreign mythologies and cultures, the betrayal evolved into a sterner, more ominous character. Gilton's duties extend beyond merely marking the end of life. She is involved in the process of death, ensuring that it occurs timely and justly, reflecting the natural order of life, and of course the inevitability of death. Her presence in Lithonian mythology serves as a reminder of mortality, as well as encouraging people to live righteous lives, to meet a peaceful end. Up next we have Jisung Sacha. Jisung Sacha plays a central role in Korean folklore as the divine emissary who is called soul from the world of the living to the afterlife, known as Jisung a place akin to a western concept of purgatory. By the way, translated literally, Zi Seng Jia Jia means messenger of the world of the dead. So, reflecting his duties, there's a bridge between two realms. But, unlike the often fearsome depiction of the Grim Reaper, Zi Seng Jia Jia is portrayed more as a, well, bureaucratic figure part of a larger celestial administration that manages the afterlife. He is tasked with ensuring that all spirits comply with the celestial laws, making sure that each soul is accounted for and that they move on to the appropriate place based on their earthly deeds. See, even the afterlife, we have to deal with that kind of stuff. And lastly, we have Angra Mino. Angra Mino, also known as Ariman, stands as the embodiment of destruction and darkness. Oh, that sounds dark. In Zoroastrian mythology, as the principal adversary of Ahura Masta, the god of light and wisdom, Angra Mino represents the antithesis of all that is good, pure, and progressive in the universe. His existence underscores the dualistic nature of Zoroastrianism, where every positive force is countered by a negative one. So, maintaining the balance of cosmic and moral order, Angra Mainyu is the source of all that is malevolent in the world. He brings chaos, suffering and decay. He is not merely a destroyer, but also a corrupter tainting the creation of Ahura Mazda by spreading lies and discord, influenced beings to stray from the path of truth and righteousness. This spiritual warfare manifests in the physical realm, influencing the moral choices of humanity and the natural events of the world. Venture with me into the shadowy realms of ontology, where hidden connections and forbidden knowledge await. Together, we will uncover the dark secrets that lie beneath the surface of these ancient tales, revealing that there is much more to mythology than mere stories, and there are profound truths waiting to be discovered. So, 
Join me on this journey. Let's explore the mysteries together. Thanks for watching.